Yeah. So why'd you do that? It's been a fair while since I was pardoned. Yes, I was set free. My death sentence was lifted and I was chosen out of the countless others. Thousands of other turkeys to live a free life from the sordid smell of my own waste and the decaying flesh of my brethren. Free from the weight of my inevitable death. Oh yes, sweet death. What I wouldn't give for its cold grip, silencing my thoughts forever, erasing my endless pain. But death, it seems, will be out of my reach for many long thanksgivings to come. As I said before, I was pardoned, set apart above the rest, but I am no different from the rest, or at least that is what it seemed. I was born and promptly thrown into a crate, with many other turkeys just like me. We spent a few dark days with one another in total darkness, crying. God, I can still hear them, their endless chirps and squeaks frantic, inane babble. It was sickening, and yet the wretched noise confirmed my existence. Truly, I was alive. When at last I was released from the dark crate, I was introduced to a new reality. Not dark, but nauseatingly bright. This was the world, the universe, for myself and my many, many kindred. A processing plant. A squalid machine of death whose only purpose and desire is to prepare us for the slaughter. As we were stuffed into the little cages, I could hear the screams of those who had been fully... prepared. Dropped promptly, without dignity, into an iron beast. Renting flesh from bone, head from shoulder. This was my life's purpose. To grow fat, be done, violently torn asunder for the traditions of even darker entities of the slaughter machine. Gluttons, demons, whose design have utterly had produced all of turkey kind to foodstuffs, existing only to die, dying only to feed the already bloated bodies of humans. This was my fate, one I anticipated with joy. In death, I could escape this evil truth. This was my fate. Until they came. Of course, none of us had any way to know when our time had come. It's only a feeling. A weight in the heart, cold as stone. A silent knowing. The aura of fate begins to appear about the body. Unseen, but felt. A feeling more vivid, more real than I had ever known. It was my time. I heard the creaking of the heavy barn doors being opened. A group of tall, menacing shapes gathered around my pen, my holding cell, my home. Finally, precious death had come to rescue me, I thought. A shadowy face, a bright smile, voices, Voices and tongues I could never begin to understand. A strange appendage. An arm. Lifted me from the cage. Surely this was it. The end. I closed my eyes. Waiting to be dropped into the ravenous slaughter machine. The whir of its bowels sounded clearer and clearer in my ears. But then suddenly... The wretched hum of the machines, the fluorescent lighting, the gobbles and squeals of the others, was silenced. I heard the doors shut. I opened my eyes to find that I was still in the suspiciously gentle arms of the shadowy faced stranger. Hey there, little buddy. I'll bet you're happy to be getting out of there. As I scanned this alien world, this outside, I noticed that there was a crowd of humans collecting in a mass, a great crowd. The stranger then proceeded to set me down on a pedestal. As I sat there, bathed 
in sunlight. I felt such warmth that I wasn't supposed to know. A joy I wasn't supposed to feel. Why me? As the President of these United States, I hereby pardon this turkey from execution and decree that it shall live a life of comfort for the rest of its days. I wondered if I had indeed been killed, and this was just some lovely afterlife. I pecked at my wing. The pain signified that this was not so. I was alive, rescued by the very creatures that condemned me to death. That was a fair while ago. I eat well each day. I live in the sunlight. The air is unsoiled by death. The free air. But... <laughs>